This water's beautiful. He's just, right now, he's just coasting in the waves. There, I see him. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, big fish. It's kind of amazing, man. This is nautical. We ran all this way in this nasty water, and the second we got here, we're hooked up. You're doing great. You're almost there, baby. Yeah, I'm gonna gap that sucker. That's a nice fish, dude. Congratulations, it's about 22 pounds, maybe. Look at that. The boys are in town, in Anguilla. There you go. Keep going, just keep it tight. Got a nice one on, about 12 pounder. As Sergio stealthily crab walks to the corner, I continue to be impressed by the brother's performance in less than ideal conditions. This one's in the boat. Keep it going, boy. You're doing great. <laughs> Wind faster, faster, faster. He's coming at you. There he is. There we go. Hey! I saw a bullseye. It was right in the center. <laughs> Typically, you want to gap them in the head area. Yeah. Never right in the center like I did, but I was desperate. <laughs> so you call that the bullseye. You just go, ah! Oh. Dolphin. The acrobatic, awesome to eat, and they're gorgeous. There it is. Let's go. Yeah! try to pull it in, and her fish just started jumping all over the place. Got a little closer, and I grabbed it by its tail and pulled it in the boat. Beautiful fish, Louisa. Oh, my gosh. The rod and reel that I'm using is an Ocean Max 10. Look at this here. Wow, nice. As I was saying, 
It's the Ocean Max 10 by Max L that we're using for these dolphin here for trolling with the Tsunami Airwave Elite 50 to 130 class rod. We got this one on a live goggle eye. Nice. That's the hardest part right there is making that long reach from the head all the way to the tail. Whew. Beautiful, beautiful fish.